you're paying attention, Waldo. This is 14-2 wire. I will be using this to run a light switch from your new light. Hey, boy. Get back in here. I wasn't done with the class. Well, what do I see here? Look at that. A mistake. Something is missing. Hmm. All they really had, but it ain't staying. No, it'll provide light for a little bit, but it ain't staying. All right, welcome back to the channel. We're back out at the dog apartment build. Today, I hope to get all the electrical wired up and hopefully juiced up. Uh, but at least I get the outlets wired. I got a, uh, well, let's just spin you around. Went and picked up a light. I think that'll be fine. Wasn't very expensive. I got my light switch uh, box, some covers. Picked up some more outlets, a 20 amp breaker. And what else did I get? Some more elbows for the picks. 20 bucks for 10 of them, man. Now, I do got a bunch of them, but they're, I'm going to be needing more elbows, so that is definitely something I needed to have. All right, man, we're going to get in there. Let's take a look. He even picked this up. I don't have to stand on that cheap dollar store table. That was spooky. And this thing's nice. It'll get me to where I need to get. Because I need to get places. And when I need to get places, that will get me there. Yep. The thingamabob step. That's what we're going to call it. All right, so if you missed the video yesterday, we ran an outlet all the way over to here uh, for the air conditioner. And bear with me, I do know it's dark in here. I got it on the wrong settings. And we also ran, I'm gonna have a light fixture right here, the one I just showed you. And there is also an outlet right here. I haven't cut it out yet for the washer. And I need to install the washer uh, what do you call it? The, you know, the gizmo. The gizmo you put the pan or the hook the water to and then it drains down into. All right, that's what I got to hook up. I didn't even think about the PVC for that. But I should have some, all that stuff laying around here. So all I really need to do is put the uh, receptacles in there. Hook up the light. Put the light receptacle up hook up the light and the receptacles there and then throw in the new breaker and plug it in now there's probably a uh, <laughs> I might have said wrong yesterday I don't know this is not running on 30 amp okay I don't know what I said but I have a 30 the only existing breaker I have is a 30 amp but I'm not running that I probably could but I all I had was this 10 2 wire so you can run a bigger wire you can run a, a higher rated wire and run it on a 20 amp breaker you just can't run I, I couldn't run you know if i was running a 30 amp breaker i couldn't run 12 2 or 14 2. so but we're not running that we're running on a 20 amp system the only things i'm running in here that are gonna you know that's a 5000 btu air conditioner it doesn't pull nothing and then this little space heater which is 1500 watts but it's when it's running it's going to be the only thing running the only thing running on it it'll be fine and the you know the washing machine i'm not if i'm doing a load of laundry because that's going to be plugged in there i'm not going to be running that while i'm doing a load of laundry so uh you just you can't overload your circuits but there's you know 20 amps more than more than enough for this and washing machines you know they don't they're fine and of course i'm running separate for the dryer uh that's already hooked up in there i just got to feed it through the wall so i want to get these done and start on the running the pecs and what that's going to do is going to come in uh up here i'm thinking let's see where's my outlet yeah it's going to come in up here probably up here come over i don't know that's going to be the eight foot ceiling on the utility room over there let me take you out there and show you that here right before we even get started and that's going here so i'm going to need 
um, PEX hookups into that. So we're going to have, you know, it's coming through and just straight down. Then I'm going to tee off of the cold water run down probably to right there in the corner of the front of the building and I'm going to have a spigot for the dog's water and I'm also going to run, run a line clear across here to about here and have a spigot for the garden uh, that will be shut off obviously during the winter uh, I do believe I have a a shut off valve but that, that ain't going to be necessary as long as I got the the spigot shut off we're good I do have I, I do believe I'm going to put in some shut off valves for the washer and dryer well no I don't need them because I got that gizmo with the spigots on it all right we're good <laughs> all right I'm already getting another late start let's go out here and take a look I'll show you a little okay what we have on the outside well, this is my temporary I used to have this in the ground as a water spigot uh, that's going to be going away so I do have an existing cold water line already coming out but I don't want it down that low where you see this two by four going across that's going to be the ceiling okay eight feet high it's like your standard wall you can see up here like I said yesterday man I threw this up in a hurry it was hot especially working in this little spot I still got to put I still got to attach the top there I got to do a little cut out here make that fit good as you can see it's just stuck above the uh, over that joist man I hope that's enough that should be and that's the existing uh, electrical line so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a piece of PVC right across here into this part the electrical box is in the laundry room right there so we're going to run that to there and then i'm going to also run the uh you know the, the pecs and the and the rest of the so that's going to be the only electrical line so that's all i got to run there so what this is going to do once i put this ceiling in there's going to be a floor up here and we'll put a little door right there where you see that's just going to be a little storage area to put chairs or whatever you know lawn stuff for the deck and just a little extra storage space but i still got to insulate up here still got to tighten that up make it look good and get this t111 fastened down correctly uh, i just did the bare minimum to get these dogs in here for the summer and i, I barely got got it done in time so we're going to get this all looking good and uh, I have to run something for this electrical pretty quick so this can be I can run this across for now but it's going to be a pain to unhook all that so I'm going to see what I got here run a PVC pipe through there and then we'll be all right all right man come here Lily now this Lily paying attention Waldo this is 14 2 wire I will be using this to run a light switch from your new light hey boy get back in here I wasn't done with the class well he's paying attention I will be using this to run from your light switch try to teach a class you know why you don't listen because you think you know it all you're a carpenter you're a truck driver you're a mechanic you can't be all those things boy you have no thumbs all right go on out and play go on out and play oh if i ain't taught you things by now i'm never going to teach you all right let me bring you up speed where we're at i installed a light switch receptacle i've got my wire run i ran it through here and it was a little tough corner there and go around through there through the wall it was up there and then it meets up with the other one comes out here we're getting ready to put the light on and the receptacles in what i need to do uh have i got that in there already no i need to find another receptacle like this one is I'm going to put it on the outside of the uh, screen patio out there. Uh, I don't want to turn everything on. I don't want to come back and do that later. So I want to go ahead and get that done now. That should be very simple. 
Uh, I've got plenty of 12 2 wire for that. Uh, so that shouldn't be no problem. And we're going to just see if we can't get to the plumbing today. But if not, you know, I'm just taking my time. going to get this done. Now this here is going to be, uh, I've got something planned for this wall. So you're not going to see any of those wires. Uh, I, what I could do is probably, if I wanted to, take this board off. and and uh, But like I said, it's, it's going to be covered with something. I've got a plan for that. And I think I'm going to do what I said and just put some uh, some of that foam board up here. Because that would be double as a ceiling and be very well insulated. That stuff works great, man. So <laughs> I want to get this done. So I can put this up for the final time and I have to pull it back off. But, you know, all we really got to do from here is wire up the receptacles. Get the light on. Wire up the switch. Get this receptacle in. And then uh, right now I'm going to go tear the place up looking for another outlet box. I didn't even think about it, but I know I've got one. I know I do. All right, we'll be back. I got that outlet wired. I put an outlet in down there. So what we're going to have. And this wasn't my first choice of a wall for the outlet, but it, it's fine. It's fine. It puts one over here, whatever. You know, I'm going to put... Uh, Put four in there, so four outlets, so uh, double gain. So I'll have plenty of electric in here. I'm not even pointing at that, am I, guys? Okay. And that should be all I need in here because I've already got one back behind there. So we'll have plenty of electric in the screen patio. Plenty of electric in here. So I'm going to start wiring up the, uh, the outlets. All right. I won't even film that. I'm not going to bore you with that. And then uh, get this white hung. Might come back for that. All right. It is the next day. Electrical is taking a little bit longer than I anticipated. But I want to get it right. I want to get it all done at once. So I don't have to go back through and add this and add that. I did stop at the, went back to the store yet, or this morning. Ouch. More wire. Ouch. Ouch. Got some more goodies, so we're getting ready to go back in there. Shouldn't take me more than another hour or two to finish up the electrical. Then the fun stuff's going to begin. I've got to drill a hole. But before I can even do drill a hole and put that PVC through, before I can even do that, I've got to get on the outside of this wall in that little cubby hole and get everything fixed that was not done right when I put it up in a hurry. So without yakking, let me get busy. All right, so I'm in here at the first receptacle and I'm just gonna go over with what I'm gonna do with, with these wires. Uh, the first thing I did is I, obviously I fed them through. This is the home run wire. This is going to the service panel. So I'm gonna put them aside. Now this is the wire that will continue to the other outlets and the light. Now, what I'm, the way I'm going to wire these is a uh, parallel method, okay? The, the reason I want to wire them par parallel, if any given outlet or switch goes bad, the power continues through the line and it doesn't disrupt. Uh, if I ran it in a series, what would happen is if maybe this outlet went bad, well, nothing behind, nothing after it would work until you replace or fix this outlet. So running in parallel is, I think, a much better way to do. In fact, I have uh, outlets in the house that I'm gonna change over uh, to this method. Uh, I should have done them in the first place. But when I started this job, you know, this house eight years ago, my limited uh, electrical knowledge, and I am by no means an expert, but I had limited knowledge, and there are some outlets that I'm gonna have to rewire that are not right. So let's get started. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make pigtails. I'm going to make two pigtails for my grounds. I'm going to make two pigtails for my neutrals and two pigtails for my hot. Those will each go on to the tops of these outlets here. You'll see when I get it done. Uh, on an outlet you have a gold side and you have a silver side. The gold side is where you always put your hot wire. The silver side always gets the neutral. And of course the greens go 
the grounds go where the greens are. Now, if you had a metal box, you'd also want to run a wire to ground the box out, but we don't have a metal box. Uh, we have one up for the light receptacle. We will be grounding that box with the ground wire. And uh, so that's how I'm going to run these. So let me get the pigtails made. Uh, put the, I'll get the pigtails made and show you what I'm doing there. Okay, as you can see, I've got two pigtails attached to each. I've got two to the neutral, two to the hot, two to the ground. All these will connect to the outlets. And, of course, power will continue on. Uh, these were very, very difficult. They were not made very well. I bought the cheap ones. I like the ones with the wings on it. They're a lot easier to get tight. But you want to get them on so good that your wire starts to twist. But not too much. Uh, and I pre-twisted these before I put these on. But for added safety, I put some a uh, little bit of electrical tape around. Just in case there might have been a... These didn't cover very well. So you just you don't want any exposed wiring. So now that I, you know, I've wrapped it up, so I know I'm safe with that. So now what we're going to do is kind of gently push some of these back up in here uh, and then get the outlets connected. All right, I've got both receptacles wired up. As you can see, I've got the black, the hot wire onto the, uh, the brass colored one. And I've got the neutral on the silver and I've got my ground down. Same thing over here. Now these will, when you get these new, these screws will be out. Go ahead and drive the ones you're not using in so they're not in the way to touch anything. Some people even wrap a, uh, a piece of electrical tape around these. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, that's not real necessary, but I mean, it wouldn't hurt if you did it. But if you've wired everything correctly, you shouldn't have to worry about it. What do I see here? Look at that, a mistake. Something is missing. Hmm. All right, guys, I had to figure out what I did. Now, I made a mistake, a big one. I would not have had any power. When I made my, put my pigtails on for my, uh, my hot wires, you can notice there's one, two, there's only three wires. This is the one off the home run. This is supplying the juice. It's not even stripped, so I know it didn't fall off. Let me get you up there. Now I got to take these apart. I can leave everything else connected, but I've got to take that wire nut back off. Once it comes off, it will be no good. Let me show you. I've got a piece down here somewhere in my mess. This is what happens when a wire nut goes on. It has this uh, twi twisted wire that just kind of wraps it around and holds it in place. And I had to pull this one back off. But you can see what they do. Let me get that back out. So as you tighten it on, this, this clamps onto the wire. And I got to tell you, that's really on there tight. All right. So, yeah, it really pays to double check your work. I made a mistake. So that's one you don't want to make. Especially you don't want to make that one. I would have went and turned the power on. There would have been nothing. Uh, it would have thrown the breaker. <laughs> kind of important I got that one. All right, let me get that on. Then we'll come back. All right, we got that problem fixed. That is exactly why I am not filming step by step because I want to be paying attention to what I'm doing because one mistake, man, you burn your place down. You could burn your place down. So it's very important that everything you check it, double check it. And I'm going to move on to the next outlet. I am not buttoning this up yet. I'm going to keep everything out. That way I can look at it several times before I put it up and, uh, you know, things happen but I but I caught it and that's usually the last thing I do is look at every wire make sure everything was right and so now we're good all right all right I've moved on to the light switch where I got everything twisted together your two neutrals they just twist together and there's two grounds and what these are these nuts these wire nuts have a hole in them so you can twist two together instead of making a pigtail it goes through the hole and you can turn it into one ground. These are very handy to have. And then my two hot wires that go on the side of the light switch and of course the ground. And that's it to that. And then we're gonna move up to the light. All right, get you up here in my business. In, in, in my business. All right, this is gonna be for the light fixture and what I have. I've got a pigtail 
off the hots. I've got a pigtail off the neutral. I've got two pigtails off of the ground. One goes to the box, one will go to the light fixture. Some light fixtures do not have a ground. Uh, the one I have does. The problem working with this 10-2 wire is it is very, very thick and it's very hard to work with. And this is not a very wide box. Let me see if I can get you around. So cramming all them wires in there and then putting a dooly do across for my uh, light fixture is gonna be an issue. So what I got is this extension. This will go over, give me more room to tuck these wires up in there. All right, so I'm gonna get this light wired up and mounted. And uh, I'm not moving very fast. I get a lot of it, uh, a lot of disruptions here, you know, with six dogs out there. The neighbors, the neighbors are back and forth every 15 minutes. Uh, if you live next to people that have cattle, they're gonna drive you nuts. I'm gonna tell you, they're back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Had I known, <laughs> you know, back in the day when I was looking, man, I, I would have got a place remote. So I don't have neighbors. Neighbors equal disruptions. But they're there. I got to deal with it. Every time that dog start going nuts, I got to investigate because we got 35 stray dogs. So I'm moving around uh, along on the project a little slower. Ain't we, boy? He's in here. He's my apprentice. Well, he says I'm his apprentice, but I... I don't think so, man. He's a dog. He don't have thumbs. But he knows everything. Look at him. That's my boy. All right. Let me get busy on the light. That is the most god-awful ugly light I've ever seen. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that 10 2, man. There's so much wire in there. That is definitely going to be temporary. Uh, I bought that locally very very few choices and i didn't want to spend a lot but that was all they really had but it ain't staying no it'll provide life for a little bit but it ain't staying all right we're gonna end it here guys i have had distraction after distraction after distraction dogs running in my yard and everything else man you name it <laughs> And there's a little, let's see if I can show you. Right up in here, there's a little nut. And I dropped that nut, and it took me 45 minutes to find it. And, uh, you know, things like that. But, that outlet's wired. The switch is wired. The light is wired. And now all we got left to do is these two outlets. I may jump on them later uh, after I feed the dogs. Got one there, one there. Those are very simple. Those won't take no time at all. And uh, get those done. And tomorrow, like I said, I got to get on the other side of that wall and uh, fix that wall, get it right. One of the things you see where this, I think I mentioned this in a clip before, but I'm doing this in two days. That piece of T111 needs to be cut to go underneath that joist. Then it will fit where I can screw it to the studs. So little things like that need to be done and insulate it and all that up there. But uh, I've already got eight million clips, so we'll go ahead and put this on there. I want, I thought I was gonna get to the plumbing today, but you know, I'm taking my time, all the distractions I got, just wasn't, wasn't in the cards. All right, man, and uh, we get these dogs fed and I will see y'all tomorrow, happy trails.